What's up YouTube? Blood Rampage here, bringing you Borderlands Game of the Year Edition. I guess I could add Remastered, because that's what it is, of course. But, uh, yeah, this is the first Borderlands game, but brought onto PS4. What you're actually seeing right now is the beginnings of my second playthrough. Uh, I didn't play a ton through the second, because I pretty much hit my level 50 cap pretty easily after this. Uh, I figured I'd do this part for the video prior to me completing it, because, I mean, if you've never played it before and didn't really want to watch anything that goes on too far about it, then this works out perfect. Um, let's see. I never played Borderlands too much when it was, like, originally released. I played it for about 20 minutes or so when a friend let me borrow it for Xbox 360, and that was about it. I never, never really got into it. But seeing how I went through, I Platinum Borderlands 2, I didn't really care for uh, uh, the pre-sequel. I figured I would give this one another shot, just see how it is. And I, I loved it. It was actually really fun to play. I, I enjoyed everything about it, and of course, I always loved Claptrap. Um, let's see. For the toughest trophy in the game, the toughest trophy is either completing or killing one of the main bosses in co-op mode or getting level 50. That, I mean, the game's pretty, pretty easy for the most part. The co-op stuff is kind of annoying, because unless you have a second tro a controller, I mean, you gotta find someone else to help play. If you have a second controller like me, it actually went pretty well. Um, yeah, I'm just kind of using some of my gold keys. I got on originally, and I had like, a hundred some gold keys, I don't know how, but, yeah. I was just trying to get a couple better weapons or something, get something decent. Um, to level 50, I'll be honest with you, I did use the little exploit. I don't, I don't feel comfortable calling it an exploit or calling it a glitch, because it's like, I, I guess it's more of an exploit, if anything. But uh, I'll actually talk about it once it pops up, and ignore some of the graphics. Because for some reason, when the game's like trying to render, or if I'm moving too fast and everything, like all the big details on stuff do, like don't load properly. I think it's just an issue with the game itself. I'm sure it'll be like updated, but like now it's all good and stuff like that. But like the, through most of the video, it it didn't want to do it. It still did it to me when I was trying to play it. Um, yeah, once you open this here, there's a, uh, vending machine you can access for Dr. Zed. His little opening remarks. Let's see, yeah, that right there, that vending machine, you gotta get a little battery or something for it. But there's these little health packs in there, and you want to have at least like $150,000 or so. And you go through, you buy a bunch of those and sell them back until you get to like 1,199 uh, items sold to get the Merchant of Death thing. Then you sell the last one and then buy it back from there. And you just save, uh, save exit and then come back in. And with that, you could keep grinding levels. It still took a while to get to level 50, but... I, I had my fun with my first playthrough, and I was already getting frustrated with the second one. I'm like, I don't want to mess with it too much. But, uh... No, the game's actually really fun. And if you got, like, a group of friends to play with, I, I would imagine it'd be so much better. I remember playing Borderlands 2 with some friends, and it was awesome. Super hype for Borderlands 3, so we'll see how that one goes. Um, I don't think it's too much of a struggle for this game. I think it's sitting at like a 4.5% platinum rating right now, which is 
really good for trophy hunters. Uh, you're gonna put a little time into the story. It's not like a quick platinum. You will have to run through the story and hope that you don't get murdered all the time. Uh, the DLCs in here aren't too bad. Uh, I like the zombies one. The other ones I never really got into, so... Probably not gonna mess with those too much. The Claptrap, uh, Revolution one's kinda cool that they came out with. That They actually just released for PS3's version as well, which is crazy. Um... Trying to think. I never monkeyed around with too many of the Easter eggs. I imagine there's tons of Easter eggs in here, like the Minecraft one and Borderlands 2 and everything. But I never really mu uh, messed around with it. I mainly went through my story, I did all my side missions, I did everything I needed to do for my trophies. Um... I'm trying to think. Gold keys are your friend, but don't waste them. Literally all the weapons I use were pretty much gold key weapons. Because, I mean, I always, like, every... I usually try maybe every five or every ten levels trying to get something decent from them. And there's some that I use for a long time that I got. But I recently just did a couple more and got a couple better weapons. I was actually thrilled for that. Um, no, overall this game is really easy to platinum. Just it takes time for the story, but it's a really great story. Really good. I really enjoyed it. A couple parts got frustrating for how many times I kept getting down, but the second chance stuff's amazing. Yeah, see in here there's those med kits. You want to buy those. Not the shields, but... I was trying to see if there was a better shield. Because I have to buy one for the mission. But I think I just bought one. Um... I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to say. Oh, I did not mention that this is Platinum 192. So, there. That's mentioned now. Um... God knows what my next Platinum's gonna be. It depends on whatever I put in the work towards. I still got all my games sitting here that I've been wanting to Platinum that I haven't even touched. I need to go on Evil Within 2. I need to mess with Spyro. I haven't touched Battlefield in I don't know how long. I kind of hit one of those points where I just don't feel like playing too much. I have way too much I need to Platinum, way too much I need to get rid of, and way too much I need to buy. So, yeah, that's the point where I'm at. <laughs> So, I'm going to try to see if I can get something platinum. Maybe Madden here soon. We're getting closer to me going for GTA's platinum, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope to keep getting more subs. It was going pretty good. Now I kind of stalled because my content's kind of slowed down quite a bit. But I'm doing what I can. I, I can't platinum everything in like five minutes, unfortunately, and get 300 videos out every two weeks, but I'm trying here, I'm trying. <laughs> so thank you for watching this video, and feel free to continue watching the last couple minutes of this, so thank you guys, and we'll see you again soon.
target hit. Step and it'll be your last. <laughs> you should have seen the look on your face. <laughs> You're not a skag, are you? Well, lucky you. <laughs> <laughs> 